All right, we are on record. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use the... <laughs> Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use the new changing resolution, changing new, new resolution changing apps without a PC. So in my last video, I released some applications for the Oculus Quest, ones that you could change the resolution with. And if you haven't seen that video, pause this video and go check that video out so you know what we're talking about and then come back and finish this one. And do a few other things with, but you needed a PC in order to set ADB into TCP mode, TCP IP mode. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do that. No PC required whatsoever. Okay, so if you want to use the resolution changing apps on your Oculus Quest, but you don't have a PC, no problem, I got a solution for you. All you need is an Android device and a USB cable. Now, the USB cable I got with the Oculus Quest doesn't seem to work, it didn't work for me. I tried it on a couple of different devices, it didn't work. Um, so what I did is I have um, one of these I'll put a link in the video description to one of them. They're usually called OTG cables. Um, it's an adapter cable, like uh, my phone here has a USB-C port. And so one end is USB-C and the other end, I think this is USB, USB-B? And see, this is um, micro USB. So like I tried it on a tablet. This is, the tablet's probably like five years old. It worked fine. So um, of course you also need the cable. Oh, here it is. And I know this cable works uh, with as a link cable for the Oculus Quest. I don't know if it has to be a cable that will work as a link cable, but I think these are the only this is the only other type of cable I have aside, that has USB-C on it, aside from aside from what I got with my my Quest. I'm going to show you right now how to do this. Oculus Quest is charged up. Okay, so uh, if you want to enable ADB over TCP without a computer, uh, no problem. You do need an Android device. It could be an Android phone or an Android tablet. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. One of them is by using this app called Bug Jaeger, Bug Jaeger, ADB. There's a free version, has ads, um, or there's a paid version with no ads. So what you would do is grab the uh, USB adapter that fits to your phone so this end would go into your phone this end goes into the USB I think this is USB A plug it in there plug this end into your phone plug this end into the Quest this actually also works on the Oculus Go but the Oculus Go's cable work with it okay you will get a notification um, and just say yes let it Click on OK, let it be the primary uh, program that uses, it comes up for this device. Now, let's see, now it automatically connected, just says null, null, let's see, list devices. Oh, unauthorized, so it's asking me to authorize it. So, I just have to authorize the ADB connection. Then always allow from this computer and then click on OK. Now click on OK. And now, let's see, do list devices. Here we go. VR Monterey at Quest at Monterey. Okay, so. Now, once it's connected and you've authorized it, just go to connect through Wi-Fi. But actually, yeah, connect through Wi-Fi. And okay. Device connected, no serial. Okay, now up here it shows the IP address, Monterey. Go ahead and disconnect the cable. And let's see, it's, it's probably still connected. Well, it's not showing that it's connected. We want it to be disconnected 
because we want to use that port. And if it's still connected on your device, uh, the port can't be used. So just go up to the corner here and select Restart ADB Server. And now you're good. Your Oculus Go or your Oculus Quest, you can run those resolution apps and you don't need a PC anymore. And you can reboot your Quest, just connect it back to your Android device to turn ADB over TCP back on. And there is another way you can do this as well. I'll show you, there's a website that you can use, believe it or not. All right, so I'll put the URL to this website in the video description, but it's uh, web ADB TCP IP and check it out. So you plug the cable into your phone, then you plug it into your Quest, because usually that's how it works to make the Quest uh, the device that's being charged. Because the device that's doing the charging is the host. You, you, your phone or your tablet has to be the host in order for this to work. Okay, and then just scroll to uh, down where it shows connect, click on connect. This pops up, click on select your quest, click on connect. Now you will have to click on okay again, authorize it in the headset. All right, now just click on enable ADB over TCP IP. It just brings itself back up to the top of this webpage and down below it'll say the device was disconnected, but uh, it, it'll, it'll work. And I've done this on an older Android device and it was fine. When you use the web page method, you have to authorize your quest every single time. So I don't like doing that. So I just use the bug Jaeger, bug Jaeger, whatever. I use that method. Now for me, right before I showed you me using the web page, I had to uninstall Bug Jaeger because they fight over the USB. So um, I wouldn't recommend doing both. I would recommend one or the other. That's it. There you go. You can use these applications without a PC. Now, as long as you have an Android device, I don't know if I don't think there's anything like this for iOS devices. All right, so for now that's it. I've got a couple of big projects I'm working on. Sometimes you never see any results because sometimes I spend hours and hours trying to get something working and ends up not working. So then, yeah, I have nothing to show for it. But anyways, um, I hope you guys like this and I will catch you guys later. Thanks.